Hey, welcome back to the uh, Stephen Sully study. Um, I want to talk to you about um, a quote that um, one of the richest men in the world uh, once said, a guy called uh, Warren Buffett. Many people have uh, coined his phrase a few times. I know many influential people, investors, um, entrepreneurs have said this quote a couple of times and they've uh, elaborated on it. Basically, he says the best investment you can make is into yourself. The guy today I looked up on Forbes uh, currently today is uh, worth roughly $86 billion. The guy um, is very well known for uh, investing uh, business and um, being a billionaire and a very, very uh, huge um, person that gives away to charities and and into um, organizations and things like that. And I certainly feel that there's a lot of truth in uh, what he said. Um, So, as you well know, in one of my podcasts, I spoke about a routine of a champion. Part of me getting up early in the morning, one minute past five, is I like to go to the gym at least five times a week. Um, So I want to talk to you about why you should invest into a personal trainer. A couple of tips on a personal trainer, first of all. Um, When seeking or looking for a personal trainer, make sure that you find someone that is congruent to how a personal trainer should be. Now, I know that this might sound a little bit obvious, but you wouldn't want to, um, for example, go and get your teeth um, sorted out, cleaned up, if the person who was doing it, the dentist, had absolutely horrible teeth and they were smashed to pieces. Um, You wouldn't want to, for example, uh, you know, uh, get a builder to refurb your house or build you a new house and you could see that their house is falling down and it's completely a shambles. And with a personal trainer, you want to make sure that someone who lives and breathes fitness, wellness and can you know uh just being healthy basically um the other couple of things that i look out for for a personal trainer is a little bit above and beyond just personal training i look for someone that is uh very upbeat so it's almost like a double uh, session when i go there i can speak to them about potentially about business about nutrition, um, about just positive thinking and a positive way of life. I can speak to them about their network that they're involved with. I can uh, also talk to them about uh, different events to go to. So they, they're not just a personal trainer giving me exercises and putting me through um, you know, a session. They're offering me a little bit more. And the only way you're going to find that out is by looking at their social media, getting recommendations from people that they've trained and um, going testing these people out. The, the last one, which I find quite important, which I slightly touched on, is making sure that these people are um, quite driven in uh, outside of the gym, outside of their personal training. Um, My two trainers, the the one I'm using mostly at the moment in the morning is a very good friend of mine, a guy called Charlie Beat. Um, He owns a gym called Light to Lift, and he's also a part of Light to Box, where uh, Adam Booth uh, trains um, some of his pro boxers, um, I know you, there's a guy uh, down there who's, you know, next hot prospect, a guy called uh, Josh Kelly, phenomenal boxer, very slick, very fit, uh, very al- uh, agile and very, very strong. Got Ryan Burnett, two-time world champion. Uh, there's, you know, a whole, whole list of people that go down there. And Charlie is not only very good at boxing and training and uh, giving me strength and conditioning um, sessions and circuits, but more importantly, he owns a gym, so he's a business person. Plus, he's a fireman. He's been at the uh, fire uh, station or brigade for X amount of years. So he saves people. Li- he saves people's lives. Um, I like to be around people like that and he's also a family man he's got three lovely children great wife great home life and um you know he's he's driven in many different parts of his life so it's not just about going down to the the gym and getting a session off him it's it's more than that the other person i get trained by uh, not as much today but every so often is um uh, ruben tabarez who um has a 
massive background in training top athletes. Um, he's trained even recently on, on his last few fights against Tony Bellew, David Hay, the haymaker. He's trained people like uh, Amir Khan, uh, John Terry, I believe. Um, the superstar, Tiny Temper, of course. That guy's got so much energy and it must be partly down to what he eats and uh, and also uh, the, the sessions that R- uh, Ruben's been putting him through. Uh, he t- he's trained people like Dino the mode of magician and the list is endless and what I like about uh, uh, Ruben as well is very upbeat all the time he's, his knowledge about nutrition and superfoods is endless every time I'm speaking to him and picking his brain about what certain foods do to you why you get tired because of certain influences over certain foods um, patterns and things of that nature I'm blown away I'm literally buzzing when I leave these sessions because of the intensity, intensity he's put me through, but also the, the knowledge he's given me about superfoods and things. Plus, he's got a very good following on social media. Um, he's a businessman himself. He's got a superfood company. He's endorsed by certain brands. I think Reebok and Adidas, one of them used to endorse him. I think currently right now it might be Reebok. I might have that slightly wrong. Of course, he's rolling in circles where he's round top celebrities uh business people i know he was training at, uh for for a while michelle moan who is a very very successful entrepreneur um i love hearing her story and listening to what she's about <clears throat> and uh these are the kind of people that i want to be around you, you their, their energy charlie and also ruben's energy they just rub off on you and you never walk out of that gym thinking you know what i've had a rubbish session and they've really drained me i hear sometimes people that will go down to the gym with their personal trainer and their personal trainer is on their phone most of the time they're looking at other things they're engaging with other people rather than you and also they're very very negative they're throwing some of their bullshit some of their um you know their, their problems onto you and it's not what you want to want to be hearing um you know obviously you want to be there for friends if they've got certain issues but it can't be like that every single session so look for a lot more value out of a personal trainer than just getting a training session so I've, I've got down five different things here why you should have a personal trainer number one the the obvious one is you get fitter now in a uh an extreme example, let's say there was an apocalypse or there was another world war, world war three or something like that. I always think to myself in the worst case scenario, because you've got to expect the best out of life, but you've got to be prepared for the worst. If something like that happened, what's going to serve me? Well, intelligence is definitely going to serve you. Um, but also your fitness. If you're strong, if you're fit, if you're durable, if you're powerful, um, physically, you're going to be able to look after yourself. Um, and fitness uh, during your day if you're a salesperson entrepreneur if you're in property it, it doesn't really matter what business you're in it will give you that energy to carry you through the day and I do feel that if you've got more energy you can make more money you can make more more contacts you can be a better communicator you can be a better closer you could be a better businessman you can give more value to your clients uh, and it all comes down to because you're fitter healthier and you feel a lot more empowered and feel a lot better about yourself right next one number two When you go to sessions, um, there will be something completely wrong if you're dictating to your personal trainer what you should be training on that particular morning, afternoon or evening. When I go down to um, my sessions, there is a bit of a... um, Uh, program that I go through but I don't always know what I'm going to be doing and the good thing about that I don't have to think I go down now I don't have to plan out my workout I just know if I turn up uh, 10 to 6 or 6 o'clock in the morning I'm going to be put through my paces for 45 to 60 minutes Um, the personal trainer should be well organized um, should be thinking about your sessions weeks or months in advance um they should be able to put you through certain uh, programs to help you achieve your goal. Now, obviously, going down to the gym, having a personal trainer, exercising doesn't mean that you're suddenly going to become super thin. Doesn't mean suddenly you're going to become super muscular. Doesn't mean you're going to be to become this super athlete. But what it does do, it puts you on a path and leads you down a um, 
an avenue where you're going to achieve certain goals and if you want to become bigger you need to have programs or a personal trainer that's going to get you more muscular uh, if you're anything like me um, I like to um, always have my uh, uh, gym uh, routine or my exercise uh, based around boxing it doesn't mean I'm doing boxing all the time sparring or pads or hitting a bag or doing circuits I might be doing some kind of strength strength conditioning program with Charlie Rubin, but they put me through certain uh, exercises which are going to give me more power, uh, more accuracy to my to my punches. Um, I'll talk to you on another podcast about why I think you should take up boxing specifically or some sort of combat sport, um, but I'll get to that in an, uh, another time. So number two is you don't have to think about the sessions. Your personal trainer will be uh, organizing that for you. Next one, number three. Quite another, another another obvious one. Providing that you're training right, providing you're eating right, providing you're staying away from all things which are not going to be uh, serving you. So, drink, drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, sugar. Um, these are things that will mess up your mindset and it also will mess up your body. And why is looking good so important? Well, number one. When you look good, you feel good, you do good. Everything seems to be a lot better. You're a lot more. Um, uh, fulfilled and you've got a lot more energy you feel empowered so when you go into your day um, you're going to get the best out of that 24 hours and you're going to utilize your time in the best most effective way but let's get let's have an, a, a scenario okay two let's say guys just for the benefit of this podcast I'm a, I'm a guy so I can relate to it two guys come out of university they both went to exactly the same university I'm going to pick one off the top of my head Loughborough and um, they both got a first degree in business and uh, they were, let's say they were uh, identical twins, but one of them didn't really train, didn't really look after his well-being, uh, didn't really care about nutrition or a first class diet or a uh, training regime or didn't have a personal trainer. And the other one done all the above, you know, exercise five times a week, ate the right things and uh, was really, really pushing themselves phys physically. Just imagine right now, Goldman Sachs said to uh, the uh, university, right, we want your two top people to come and have an interview. We're going to give one of them a job. And the job's going to start at £100,000 every single year and there's going to be bonuses every six months or every quarter and that could equate to another 100 k for example. If they both turned up, both in the same kind of suits, but one of them was slightly overweight, one of them stunk of cigarettes or slight alcohol on their breath, or let's just say they weren't smoking or drinking, but they just looked a bit unhealthy and there was another one that looked really healthy, very fulfilled in their face, what is your gut telling you right now which of the uh, the candidates the bank is going to employ Goldman Sachs? They're going to go for the one that looks looks like they're looking after herself. Why? Because first impressions do fucking matter. They really do. As soon as you walk into a room and you bring that energy or bad energy, people notice it. And then they're going to look at how you're dressed, how you're holding yourself, what you're saying, how you're saying it, the kind of tone that you're using. And more importantly, are you training? Do you look fit? Um, the first thing I look at is someone's slightly looking very, very unhealthy or, or slightly overweight. I understand that certain people, you know, um, have might have certain issues, but the reality is that if you're slightly unhealthy or overweight, the, the question is going to pop into your mind and you're going to think that, does this person really care about their own well-being and therefore will they really care about our clients, will they really give them value and they're going to give, are they going to give two ticks about our company, our, our brand? And it's going to be a big question. And that whether it's a yes or no, they're going to ask that question internally. So you might as well train, you might as well look fitter, feel fitter and do uh, do 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 um, do right by your body. Um, we're not all going to live forever, but living uh, this life which you only got one shot at it's not a rehearsal you should live the best life possible and that will come down to your fitness as well you don't want to spend most of your life um you know sitting on the chair in front of the sofa eating absolute rubbish every single day it's just going to drain you and you're going to attract the wrong people into your life right number four this one's going to sound a little bit obvious as well but i wanted to uh, voice it when you ha have a personal trainer, I have to pay for my trainer up front, £300 a month, and I get a certain amount of sessions every single week. It costs you money. Now, the thing about spending money on anything, my old boss, when I first got into sales, said this, never borrow a book 
off of anybody by your own. And when I questioned him, I said, well, why is that? And he said, well, because when you borrow something, you're not really going to value it that much. And that book will probably sit on the shelf for days, weeks, if not months or years. And you may never even get around to reading it because you don't really value it because you've just borrowed, borrowed it off of someone else. But when you spend the money or invest the money into the book or into some kind of course, you're going to want to utilize it to, to your advantage because you spent the money um, when you put money into something you've got an, an emotional attachment because if you're anything like me and anything like uh, what I believe you're going to be like um, you probably get up early you probably work really hard you probably work overtime you even put extra hours in in the morning afternoon over lunch evening even on weekends I certainly do and I've worked <laughs> blood, sweat and tears into that money. So therefore, I want that money working hard back for me and I want to be putting it into the right thing. So I have this emotional attachment to it. If I feel like I'm putting money into a personal trainer and I'm not turning up to my sessions, that means I'm blowing money you know, blowing money, and it's, it's going down the drain. And I'm definitely never, ever going to do that. I'm going to make sure I'm going to pay the money up front and make sure I turn up to every single session, uh, humanly possible. Of course, every so often I cannot make it for, because of certain commitments, but 99% of the time I am there uh, because I've spent the money and I've made a commitment. And the last last one, number five, is it makes you accountable. So just touching on it's costing you money, this leads into number five, being accountable, because if you're trying to say, right, we're going to train four times this week or we're going to train three times this week and I'm going to give you two extra sessions that you need to do on your own and I expect to see you uh, next week and I expect to see certain things that you've done or I might put you through a nutritional program. You might be uh, training for a, a competition, a fight. Uh, you might be doing even a photo shoot. Um, you want to be accountable. You want someone to be on your back slightly to say, right, have you done this? You know, have you been fulfilling uh, the things that I put put out to you? Are you um, staying on track? Um, what kind of things you've been eating this week? Have you been having enough water? Have you been having enough rests? Have you been getting enough uh, sports therapy and massages and things of that nature? And if you haven't, you're going to feel like an idiot. So the good thing about being accountable is someone is on your back. I know the most successful people in the world, sports, uh, af athletic people, people that are performing at a very, very high rate, uh, going back to people like Tiny Temper, who's obviously made a lot of money, made himself into a phenomenal global recognized brand. Someone that, you know, delivers every single time on these albums, um, delivers every single time that he's on that stage um he's accountable and i think he relishes the fact that he's accountable to his team to his record label uh to his friends family uh and also to his audience and the good thing about being accountable is that you perform at your very 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 best because if you don't people are going to question you and going to question your integrity and have have been in, uh, accountable and Every single sector of your life, including down the gym with a personal trainer, is abs the absolute best. It's going to drive you forward. You're going to get the very, very best results. And also being about being accountable, I've actually gone into the gym before. This is many years ago. I've literally gone in there with a poor mindset thinking, you know what, I'm tired. I can't be bothered to do this. I'm not really feeling this today, which we've probably all gone through that. And I've literally gone on, onto a few machines, not really done too much, pretended to, or kidded to myself. I've done a workout and I've left and I've gone down into the spa and, you know, I've just literally wasted a bit of time. The good thing about when you turn up to a training session, you're not leaving. My personal trainer, none of them will ever let me leave. You have to get that bloody session done. So the good thing about it is you're locked in for that 45 minutes to an hour. And like I said, number five is you're going to be accountable. You're going to be expected to bleed, you know, sweat. You're going to be collapsing on the floor. And the good thing about that is when you leave, maybe not immediately, but certainly within an hour, you're going to feel absolutely amazing. And you're going to feel great that you've invested the time and the money into that personal trainer and got a lot of success out of that, that session. And if you can imagine right now, Doing a personal training session, not just once, not just twice, not just here and there and intermittently, but you're doing it every single week, three, four, five times a week, and you're doing it over weeks, months, years, over decades, you're going to become stronger, you're going to become more fulfilled, and therefore you can transfer that energy into your business, into your family life, into your social life, and everything becomes a little bit better. It's the icing on the cake. Hope you got value from that. Please follow me from uh, on my social media, on my...
my sorry on my instagram sully.steven i'd like to hear from you if you've got anyone that would uh, benefit from this please recommend this to your friends and family or colleagues um and remember be happy but never content thank you Thank you.